So I think we can all agree that the Game Awards is slowly becoming the new E3. It's not totally there, but I mean, it's almost there. Hey guys, it's Rob and welcome back to the RoboChan Show. So the Game Awards, an event where the gaming industry gets together and gives out different awards to different video game developers and video games. The Game Awards 2019 has passed and in this video we're going to go over some of the biggest announcements and most exciting reveals from the Game Awards 2019. So the first up is the obvious one, but maybe not so obvious, the announcement of Senyu Saga Hellblade 2, which is the sequel to the first Hellblade. This new Hellblade game is going to be for the next gen console, the Xbox Series X and shows some of the next gen cutscenes that we're going to be seeing in the Xbox Series X games and the PS5 games. And man, does this look insanely good. The way the facial animations are shown here with the small details and the crinkles and the skin and the face, and not to mention the lighting, it all looks amazing. And next up, we have the PlayStation 5 trailer for the game that's coming to the PlayStation 5, which is Godfall. Now, this is going to be published by Gearbox and Counterplay Games, and according to the devs, it's going to be a looter slasher. It seems it has to do something with ancient gods gods, but as far as we know, except for the aesthetic of the world which obviously looks amazing, we don't really know much about the story or anything else other than that. And the next game that was actually revealed at the PC Game Awards I believe in 2018 at E3, and that's the Man Eater game, a shark simulator where you hunt unsuspected civilians. The Man Eater gameplay trailer promises evolving sharks, exploration, and more, and it doesn't look too bad graphic wise either. So I think if anything, this new Man Eater trailer got me really excited for the game even more than I was before when I saw it at E3 2018 at the PC Game Awards. And next up we have the Xbox Series X. Now I won't go too far into detail about this new Xbox console because I'll make a separate video for that, but make sure you subscribe for that because it'll be coming out either tonight or tomorrow. But in the trailer it gives us a look at this oddly shaped Xbox One X series along with the new Xbox controller. To my knowledge now I don't have, now I don't think the size is going to be a problem because at most it's going to be about two and a half discs in height standing up. Up. New controller for the Xbox Series X also has some changes with the D-pad having a more inverted style that's more akin to the more expensive Xbox controllers. There's also a share button in the middle and grips on the back triggers. Overall, this is actually really exciting. I can't believe they actually revealed the new Xbox at the Game Awards. I don't think anyone expected that. We also got a Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer, which is always fun. It's nothing new, honestly, but we have seen a lot of trailers so far and gameplay, including other details that have come out about the game and I think at this point we are just wanting to buy the game right now. We have seen enough, we just want to play this game. But it's still great to see the Final Fantasy 7 game at the Game Awards. We also got a new Ghost of Tsushima trailer. We saw a shorter version earlier this month and as I said we got an extended look at that trailer. And this game looks incredible. The colors they use as a backdrop really give the whole trailer a vibrant and mystical look. Not to mention the weapons and armor that the characters are wearing and just the overall presentation of the trailer was amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on Ghost of Tsushima. Now the game of the year was pretty interesting. With so many great games, I bet it was pretty hard to choose. But in the end, the winner of the Game Awards 2019 went to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. A fun yet difficult game and well deserved. It's going to be interesting to see who wins the game of the year in 2020 because that's when the next gen games are going to be out and they're going to be fighting amongst each other for game of the year 2020 so it should be fun i think looking over everything that was shown even some game award announcements that i didn't talk about like five to nine or apex legend or even wolves among us 2 didn't really help too much at the game awards making it good i guess i should say i'd go so far as to say that even these bigger ones didn't make it a great game awards 2019 it made it an okay game awards i expected the game awards 2019 to be about giving game awards to games in 2019. I mean that's why it's called Game Awards 2019 but a lot of the awards were pretty glossed over and fed to you pretty quickly and it didn't really give you a chance to appreciate the awards and the games that won them. Instead they just wanted to hurry up to get to the next video game reveal and that's what I mean by the Game Awards is slowly becoming the new E3 where everyone expects all these video game announcements add in the long run time and I think the Game Awards 2019 was just okay and I think that probably is a huge problem. They're focusing more on the game announcements than the actual awards at the Game Awards 2019. That is weird. But anyways, what did you think about the Game Awards 2019? What were your favorite announcements? Tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Rob Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.